This is Transformers Generations Voyager Class Sandstorm. Uh, the figure is part of Wave 1, 2, 3, 4, I think. 1, Soundwave, 2, Blaster, Grimlock, 3, Springer, right, Wave 4 of the uh, Transformers Generations uh, Voyager Class Series for 2013 or 2012-2013. Uh, here's a quick look at the packaging. Fantastic artwork right there. It's got the thrilling 30 years Transformers 2014, 1984-2014. Very excited what Hasbro has up in store uh, for us. 30th anniversary. Nice tech specs, no need for that red film strip. Very nice. Um, okay, here we go. Very, very nice figure. Uh, if you think it's familiar, I think you've already figured it out. This particular figure is a heavy, heavily remolded or redecoed or retooled, whatever you want to call it. A version of the Triple Changer Springer, Voyager class Springer uh, figure. Uh, and then, and, and, and you know, he heavily modified or heavily retooled, heavily re redecorated is quite an understatement for a figure like this because there is a ton of changes, minor tweaks here and there, improvements on this particular figure uh, based on this original uh, Springer mold. And we can get to that in a little while. Uh, just let me try and get you get him out of his uh, FX France pose. And some are just minor, minor uh, detail details that uh, they sort of fixed uh, to give the figure a better experience. The official transformation, for some reason, is not really having the wheels like bulkhead on him like that. It's having the wings sprayed out, splayed out like that and having the tail rudder or tail fin something like this there's there's like pegs right there that you can it's sort of supposed to peg into those slats slots right there a little bit hard and tricky but this is the official let me try and give you a good look at that this is the official let me just pull it nah you're still not gonna see it this is the official robot mode. Um, I, I'm not sure why they wanted. Maybe it's because he would have been very back heavy if if we, you had folded the wheels just like what I did. You you could do it whatever you wanted. It is it's a toy that uh, leaves some creativity for all you guys, for all the collectors. Come on, stand up. And just to give you a size, the size of him. He's obviously he'll be bigger than Springer, but. Look at all the kibble that Hasbro intentionally made for transformation. I, I personally th I like to fold everything in if you can. And uh, to me, this is how I'm going to keep Sandstorm in robot mode. Now, on to the differences. As you can see, obviously, the head sculpt is different. He still retains that awesome light piping. The face is... Yes, the face is different. Yep, uh, he has a longer face. Very nice light piping. The helmet, quote unquote, is actually different. Chest is different. Everything about it is different. Even the shoulders are different. Wheels are the same. Um, the different fenders, the knee, knee guard, knee caps are different. There's no wheel here, and as such, they were able to fix the this uh, this hinge joint right here there's tabs now so this, this thing just 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 doesn't slide forward and backward there's tabs to lock it here and there's there's another tab right you see it there's a tab right there there's a tab right there so that this thing just doesn't uh, swing out freely or loosely just like what uh, was going on with the Springer mold as you can see it just it, it helps it helps it in posability in posing the figure this one is sort of like on a mini ratchet joint but there's a little joint right there but it just it's very loose on my figure and it, it, it's a pain in the ass when you're trying to pose the figure so different weapons obviously uh, there's a different uh, there's a slight
tweak in transformation, but basic transformation is relatively the same. And obviously the backpack is different. This backpack is very small. He doesn't have a sword because he doesn't need a propeller. And even on the back side, as you can see, there's a there's different legs, leg molds. The the, the the heel spurs are almost the same as well as the feet, but the execution on the lower leg is really, really quite different. Um, the shin guards are different. There's so many differences that you can actually treat the, uh, the Sandstorm figure as an entirely new figure. For some of those who are not as nitpicky, I think it, it, it goes as a different figure. It'll pass as a different figure. Also, um, this the windows, they actually clip on a lot better this time around than the Springer uh, version. This one is really pain in the ass to stick it there. Um, but that's that. Articulation for the figure, it's still okay. Still the same as the Springer mold. Nothing much has changed. Ratcheting joints here and there. As I said, this is the only thing that changed. Um, the backpack is sort of blocks. Well, no, not really. It's still, it's still good waist articulation. Uh, the head is a little bit loose on mine. As for the weapon, there is still that. Uh, it's not spring loaded. It's um, you just push it, and it's like a Star Wars weapon, and yeah, it just shoots like that. And very nice. Um, I didn't think it was going to shoot as much. I was trying to fidget with this weapon. Um, it wasn't as impressive as I thought it would be. But anyway, so that's that. The plastic they use on the weapon feels cheap, but the, other, the rest of the plastic, okay. So let's transform him. That's what you wanted to see uh, in this review. Let's get him into his um, uh, aircraft mode. I think that's, that's the first thing we should do. The, uh, what do you call it? The VTOL aircraft mode. In G1, if you remember, he also turned into a helicopter and into a dune buggy, but June buggy. But this time around, they've made him into um, a VTOL aircraft. And it's a nice touch. It's a nice difference. Um, it's a nice modification. Not, you don't have to be so, uh, you don't have to stick too much to, how everything was in G1. I mean, you know. So, same, almost the same transformation as Springer. Oops, almost broke it. <laughs> Make sure you detach the shoulders first, and then attach them right back at, at the armpits, like like so. Move them down. Like that. Um, fold this one up. Come on. Fold the head in, open this, and fold. Normally on Springer, you would do this and, and tab it like that. That's how you would turn it into uh, the helicopter mode. But because he's got these uh, VTOL rotors, come on, what are you doing? The, the this piece, this forearm piece, is going to hinder the the v, the wheel or VTOL rotor um, engines turbines from spinning, and not, the sound is a little bit annoying. So the official transformation is just to fold it this way and have the wing at the rear like that. Now, you, you, you could do it as how you would do it on Springer if you want to. There's nothing stopping you from doing that. But the official transformation states you just leave it like that. Um, and because of the uh, because of these pegs, uh, these peg holes, uh, this transformation is a little bit more stable because they peg into those, uh, which we'll get to in a little while. So first, join the legs. That, fold out the landing gear and these again they tab in like that very nice and they go here oops fold out the tail fins and they tab nicely it's nice that there's a bigger backpack so that the aircraft mode is a little bit more stable than the springer helicopter mode okay tab everything fold out the landing gear and these uh, they're supposed there are these inner 
peg holes. They're supposed to peg in right there. But um, I suppose you can, you're supposed to do it this way. Not as much. Yeah. Yeah. All right. They lock in like that. My bad. Okay. All right. And there you have it. There is Sandstorm in his VTOL aircraft mode. It's a little bit more stable than the Springer alt mode. Obviously, I'm not going to show you the Springer alt mode because it will take forever to transform. I don't want to edit this video. And the weapon, just like Springer, it's nice. It's like a big fat sort of helicopter. Uh, it's my wife texting me stuff to buy. There is a... Oh, here. Right here. That little notch right there. Supposed to... The instructions just tell you to add the gun. I mean, but you're supposed to like snap it in underneath there. Just above the landing gear. Just underneath the landing gear. And there you have him with the gun. Not the best looking thing in the world. So, I don't... If I'm going to keep this guy in alt mode, it's not going to be that like that. Uh, the gun would probably... I would, I would suggest that you either put it at the back like that or where the, the helicopter blades are supposed to be. And I think that's a better, better mode or something, place for the weapon. But, you know, you could throw that away for all you <laughs> and replace it with something else. But it's nice. It's not integral transformation. But it's just a bit of an add-on. So, But in alt mode, for the aircraft mode, I think this is how he should look like. Very, very nice. All right. Um, from this point on, you can transform him into his June buggy mode quite easily. Uh, and it's the same as how you would do Springer. So you're going to go ahead and detach the this section right here. Go ahead and move it. This is the key point in the transformation. If you fail to do this and you're tempted to just fold everything into Dune Buggy, you're going to miss everything. This is the key step to transforming it into Dune Buggy mode. It's just like Springer. Do it like that. Fold out the shoulders. Fold it up front like that. Go ahead and fold out these bits just as you would do Springer. Like that. Oh, <laughs> sorry. Fold out the windows. And here, um, the windows still don't tab in as, as nicely. I mean, as you can see. But it's going to be, a, it, it's really a non issue because the tail fin folds in as uh, blast doors or, or something like that, like Mad Max blast doors and they cover up the windows very nicely and neatly and you, it, it's okay if they're not as flush uh, when they tab in. Anyway, uh, go ahead and fold these out. These two things out. Go ahead and put the feet to its highest position like that and it sort of tabs in. The, this tab will fit right here. Uh, for the Springer mold, as I mentioned in my update for the Springer mold, sorry, for the Sandstorm mold, even if you tab, even if you tab it correctly like that, for the Springer mold, the windows just sort of fall into place like, like that. Like what I said. <laughs> I was about to say for the Springer mold, it doesn't tab in. But it's the first time it's done that. I've been transforming this guy several times, tabbing it properly, and I noticed I was going to say that even if you tab it in like that and you clip it like, you clip the shoulders in, the sh the, the windows are still not going to tab in. Ha! I was right. See? Look at it on this side. It still doesn't tab in. This one tabs in nicely. This one sort of just hangs around there. Oh, he tabs in. Look at that. Shaming me on my own video. Look at that. He tabs in nicely. So the trick is to both Springer and Sandstorm. Sandstorm, you just peg it in, right? You peg the forearms onto his legs properly. You can get a more flush transformation on the windows. But again, as I said, the for the Sandstorm mold, there's not really a bit too much of... It won't make too much of a difference because this piece right here is going to collapse and just you know, sort of sandwich the two windows and you're hardly going to notice it. Finally, the last step is you just, um, you don't tab into anything. They just, oh, sorry, you fold, fold these things, rotate them out. And I'm doing it right. Just 
fold them in like that. They're supposed to notch, nestle in this sort of groove right there. And so is this one, like that. And there is Sandstorm in his dune buggy alt mode, which looks really nice. I was wary that the big wheel, the small wheel, was really going to make this thing look funny and cartoony. But as it turns out, it was a stroke of genius. Congratulations to the Hasbro team who made Sandstorm. I honestly think that this mode fits Sandstorm better than Springer. Um, I'm not, I'm not going to say too many i mean not it's not to say that it's not to say anything bad about the springer mode but i think the mode fits sandstorm a lot better and i'm sorry i actually forgot to show size comparison well it's almost the same size as springer here is the classic 10k optimus prime here is a six inch marvel figure uh here is a deluxe class Autobot figure, red alert, as you can see how big this thing is. Uh, for those of you who just, for the heck of it, just want to see him with Grimlock. Let me just put this guy at the back. Now you don't need to see Iron Man. Let's put him at the side, off to the side. As you can see, yeah, decent enough sized Voyager class alt mode. And here he is. So there you go, folks. Uh, sorry for the lengthy review. It's a nice figure, definitely. Even if you've already picked up Springer, the only reason I would not recommend you pick up Sandstorm is if you don't like Sandstorm, if you absolutely hate the character. But if you're really into these Generations toys, especially the Voyager class figures, they are awesome. For the money you pay for them, they are well worth the every, every penny, every cent you pay for them. And it's a triple changer. Um, I, I think it's amazing that Hasbro has finally given us legitimate triple changers uh, versus the deluxe class triple changers we've had in the past with the Generations, with Classic Flying. The, these new triple changers, e even Blitzwing, um, just an amazing, amazing development and design product design from the Hasbro team. And I absolutely recommend it. If you have to choose between Springer and Sandstorm, I would honestly recommend do not choose between the two of them. You have got to pick up both of them. There's not getting one or the other. The only reason you would not get any of them is if you hate Transformers. So if you love Transformers, get both of them. I, I highly recommend that. Yes, Iron Man has got nothing to do with Transformers. It's just for size comparison. So there you go, folks. I hope you've enjoyed this video review. If you did, please click the thumbs up icon at the bottom. For those of you who still haven't figured it out, Chefatron and FX France is one and the same. Chefatron on YouTube is all my new action figure reviews and Transformers and whatnot. The FX France channel is going to be just devoted to vlogs and toy hauls. Please follow me on Twitter. Twitter.com slash FX France for my latest toy purchases. Uh, Keek.com slash FX France for mini toy hauls. Uh, Instagram at FX France for local toy sightings here in Manila. And again, two of my channels on YouTube, FX France and Chefatron. Chefatron has the reviews. Toy hauls are on FX France. And please do check out my videos and other videos that are posted on Tech Sushi. Awesome, awesome channel. Transformers, Generations, Voyager Class, Sandstorm, together with the rest of the size comparison videos. Thanks for watching.